Hi, I'm Carl with Bear Arms Gun Range, and we're back for this week's pro tip. Today we're talking about compressed ready position and target acquisition. All right, guys, so we're talking about compressed ready position. What is compressed ready position? How and why we should use it in a training setting and its importance in developing target acquisition. So first, what is compressed ready position? With my unloaded firearm here, I'm going to demonstrate. Compressed ready position is a good two-handed grip Muzzle pointed downrange in my safe direction. I still have a pretty good stance, but I am not out at full extension and I'm not applying full pressure to the firearm. So, one of the reasons I like compressed ready position is it gives me a time to relax. When I'm out at full extension, I'm focusing on developing sight picture maintaining sight picture, I'm focusing on applying pressure to the firearm, I'm focusing on trigger control. All these things can be mentally and physically straining. So compressed ready position gives me a chance to relax, all right, both mentally and physically. I can relax the mind, I can relax my muscles, that's applying pressure and I can breathe. A lot of folks forget to breathe while they're focusing on all these basic fundamentals. So that's one reason I like to use compressed ready position. I think it's always a good place to start and it's a good place to come back, all right? So as we start, we can relax, set up a good grip, set up a good stance, eyes on the target, and we can go out and shoot, bang, 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 and then we come back back to your compressed ready position again maintaining a good two-handed grip finger off the trigger muzzle pointed down range in my safe direction and I can relax and I can breathe take a load off right, focusing on all those important fundamentals can be fatiguing mentally and physically so come back and relax so that's one aspect of why I like compressed ready position another reason and this is probably the most important reason, is how I use compressed ready position to develop target acquisition. Last week's video, we talked about sight alignment and sight picture that works hand in hand in today's video, because now we're talking about how do we get out to full extension and develop a good sight alignment and sight picture. So you see this done in movies a lot. And I, and I, and I think that's, um, one really important thing to look at, because in movies you see them do this wrong, especially how we go from compressed ready position to full extension. First, let's talk about a couple wrong ways, and then we'll talk about how I think is the best way to move from compressed ready out to full extension. So the two ways I don't like, but you see them in movies all the time. Um, the first one we'll talk about, we call it bowling. And this is when we come from a relaxed, compressed ready position and we kind of move straight or downwards with the firearm and then we swoop upwards. All right, that's what slow motion. This is kind of what it looks like a little bit faster. All right, you see this a lot in TV shows and movies. Here's why I don't like that. If I have my eyes on the target, my goal is to get my gun out to full extension and develop sight alignment and sight picture. Now with my eyes on my target and I swoop down or move forward and then I slowly move up, I don't see my sights. I don't see my sights. I don't see my sights. Oh wait, there they are. And now I have to work and develop sight alignment and sight picture, all right? That's making our, or keeping our eyes on the target the whole time. I'm bringing my sights up to my eyes and I don't see them until it's finally the last moment I'm out at full extension. The other way I don't like is casting. This is kind of like the opposite, where I have my eyes on my target, and I kind of go up, and I come back down. 
all right? A little bit faster, this is what you see in movies a lot of. Them. And down, all right? This one's even worse, because first I'm obscuring my view of my eyes to my target by putting the gun in front of my face, going past that line of sight, which we talked about last week, and then coming back down to that natural line of sight. And then once again, finally, I now have to figure out my alignment and sight picture. All right, let's talk about the way I like to do it. First step from compressed ready position. Again, two-handed grip, good stance, finger off the trigger eyes on the target, I want to bring the front sight post up into the natural line of sight. Again, that's the line from my eyeball to my target. So I'm bringing the front sight post up and notice how the firearm's still relatively close to my body, bringing it up. Now I am looking through the front sight post, maintaining my downrange focus on my target, but what I wanna do is line up that image of the front sight post directly on my target where I want to put the bullet. Now, once I'm here, I want to drive straight forward, maintaining the front sight post on the target, on the bullseye the, the whole time. And by the time I get to full extension, you'll notice the slide has leveled out and now the rear sight pops into view. And then by the time I get there, I can work on sight alignment. And I should automatically have sight picture. So a benefit of doing it this way is as we're traveling to full extension, we can work on developing those things, the sight alignment and sight picture, instead of the other ways figuring out by the time we get there. All right, not seeing the sights until, oh, there they are, now I have to find them we can work on the development of that alignment the whole time. Again, slow up and drive straight forward. The slide levels out, rear sights pop up into view, and I have equal height, equal light, lower 50% hold. All right, let's see what it looks like a little bit faster. Up and out, all right. My recommendation is always practice this really slow. And of course, this is a good one to do dry, dry fire at home too. Pick out your target in your safe direction. Make sure we got a good grip, finger off the trigger, good stance, eyes on the target, up and out. Finger off, come back, compress ready position, relax the body, relax the mind, and breathe. Yeah, that's good. Eyes on the target, up and out. What I've told folks in the past is by the time you reach full extension, if you then have to find your sights and work on developing sight picture, you've probably done it wrong already. So just don't focus on that. Bring it back to compressed ready position. Relax and breathe. Up, front sight on the target. Drive that front sight straight towards the target the whole time and it levels out. Equal height, equal light right there. I don't have to worry about shifting or finding those sights or the target. It all works together. Practice this extremely slow, just like everything else. As slow, as slow, as slow. The more you do it, speed comes naturally. And then you work up to this. All right, up and out. All right, up and out. Make sure. Now, when we come back to compressed ready position, we are maintaining safe direction and finger off the trigger. It is not proper compressed ready position if you have your finger on the trigger, all right? Finger off the trigger, safe direction of the muzzle. That's it, compressed ready position, target acquisition. Remember, practice it slow. Do dry fire, practice a bunch of times at home. Come to the range practice it a ton at the range. It's okay to do one shot at a time. That's how you're gonna get the best reps, all right? Up, out, touch, press, bang, finger off, come back, relax, and just do it 100 times. Up, out, touch, press, bang, finger off, come back, relax. Another reason I love compressed ready position is 
when we start to incorporate the draw stroke from the holster. Developing a good two-handed grip on the firearm during a draw stroke is a very important process and we have to make sure that we're doing it safely because we do not want to point the firearm at our non-dominant hand. So what typically I recommend is as we draw, we keep the firearm close to the body and then the support hand comes around underneath, finds the firearm, then you can work in that good two-handed grip. And then notice right where we are, compressed ready position. Once you've practiced the compressed ready position to full extension a thousand times, the draw stroke to full extension is so much easier once you already have this in your muscle memory. All right, the next step is going to be the holster draw, but that's a different lesson, and we might talk about that a little bit later. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and learned something from today's lesson. If you have any questions about compressed ready position or target acquisition or any of the other subjects we talked about in previous videos, go ahead and leave a comment below. Or you can just come on down to the shop, grab a bite to eat at Bombshells Burgers and Barbecue. Great food, come on by, we can talk in person. We can even set up a private lesson if that's something that you're interested in. If you're just interested in that cool swag, maybe a slick t-shirt or some stickies, head on over to VATradingCo.com. I got everything you need over there, unless what you're looking for is a home. In which case, you'll need to head over to BearArmsHolsters.com. They've got a bunch of sweet holsters, custom to order. Orders done are on the website. Check it out. That's it for this week. We'll see you all next time. Yeah.